morning. You join me today at Finai Gamach above Blyneye Festinog in North Wales. We've been hunting some wild brown trout across the two lakes here and we've just come across a hut that I believe I've been told is over 100 years old which always makes me feel very privileged to sit here where many fishermen have sat before and probably pondered what I'm about to ponder. We're quite high up, there's been a nice ripple, it's overcast, it's a great walk and this is something that's been forgotten about a little bit in North Wales, these lakes. And it's the same as the lakes in the Lake District and particularly in Scotland. They're not as popular as they once were, but what we've had this morning is some fantastic sport already. Fishing, lightweight, nine foot five weights with a team of little wet flies, casting a rising fish and fishing blind, and fishing the traditional way, cast and walk. Um, we've covered quite a bit of the, the first lake this morning and we've just moved on to the second lake. Now the fish are starting to move, they've been taking a few of the sedges in the last sort of half an hour. They've started moving on to the blue iron duns and they've become very finicky. So now we're going to be setting up ready to target these with a single dry fly. This morning we were using the 9 foot 5 weight 7x from Loop. And this is the fast action and we paired this with the OxyFlex floating line which has got quite a short head and is very good for shooting when you're trying to cover a little bit of water particularly in the wind or roll casting and we've balanced that with the Loop Opti dry fly reel. For this afternoon we're going to stick with the 9 foot 5 weight 7x but we're going to switch across to the medium fast just a little bit more forgiving especially because we're going to be using very small dry flies. Mark who's one of the local guys from here has kindly tied me up some specialty flies um, the iron blue done imitation which I didn't have and we're going to be pairing that up on three and a half pound leader and we're going to be looking at targeting individual fish. Also while we've been working in these mountains over the last few weeks we're looking at bringing a new range of flies to the fly shop. We've already started producing wet flies but we're going to tailor some flies deliberately designed for the Welsh mountain lakes and um, the lakes in the Lake District and the locks in Scotland. Because I think one of the things that I've noticed is a lot of people are put off by coming here because uh, generally the flies you've got to use are a little bit smaller, you know, more 12s and 14s. Even down in dry flies we're talking down to 18s. So we will be putting a get together a range of flies and we're just doing a bit more field testing at the moment. That concludes our day at Clearnai Gamach. We fish both lakes, uh, fish really hard. After our little lunch break in the hut, the dries didn't quite work because the wind had gusted up. We did manage to get a couple on them, but the method we switched to was washing lining, which most people are familiar with on the rainbow trout waters where you use a booby, but we're using a Ken Kennedy special uh, sedge hog on the point, and it was a cinnamon color with two of the chain hoppers on the droppers. What was noticeable during the wind was the fish moved out but these flies, particularly the sedgehog, seem to be pulling the fish up really well and we had a good afternoon on the sedgehog and the chain hoppers. One of the things that made life a lot easier, we, we stuck to the Loop 7X um, in a fast action and that really allowed us to cast the five weight well into the wind, which you'll see through the video. Um, There's no need to go to a heavier rod and then we could still enjoy playing the fish. 
Uh, we didn't manage any big fish, but we had plenty around the three quarter pound mark and it was just a fantastic day to be out on the water uh, and enjoying the scenery in North Wales. If you're unsure on how you do this, you know, drop us a message and, and anything we know we can talk through. There's lots of friendly people on the web, you know, that fish this area and I'm sure, you know, everybody would be more than willing to help you. It's a fantastic destination. I'm looking forward to coming back and uh, sampling the evening rise next time. Thanks. Bye for now.